Oh dear, well, here we are again in the kitchen. Another day, another uh, broken down tape recorder. Well, cassette deck in this case. This is uh, out of an ITT MC10 music centre. And uh, while it was being recommissioned, I think the shock was so much that it blew one of the VU meter bulbs. Now, I haven't got any lamps quite like that. But what I did have, well, some I got at uh, B&Q many years ago. Every Christmas time, once they'd stop selling decorations, they'd sell off all the little uh, spare lamps really cheap. They don't do that anymore. You could get, uh, I think that pack cost me ten pence. <laughs> About fifteen cents or something. Yeah, something ridiculous. But, uh, as you can see, those screw in. Now, I couldn't get those little lamps to go into the fittings that were here originally. So what I've had to do is to get hold of a pair of LGB G-scale model railway coach lamp fittings because uh, I don't use those anymore. My stock is mostly lit with white LEDs or warm white LEDs and the batteries last ages. It's a much better bet to do that. But of course it does mean I've got a few of these lamp holders. Now the lamp holder you see, uh, one side of it is live, you know, the casing is live. So, again, thinking ahead, because the chassis of the machine is metal and uh, is probably wired earth, I've had to put them on a little uh, cardboard piece of insulation. Uh, this will uh, prevent any risk of short circuit damaging anything as uh, you can bet your life it would do. And another thing to beware of is, um, well, the terminals were there on the old installation, um, were part of it, and uh, I couldn't salvage them. So what I've had to do is to make my own junction here, and I've used some stuff here called shrink sleeve, which is very clever. It's uh, over here, like a tubular thing, a sort of plastic tube. And when you heat it up, it shrinks. So you get all the terminals for the live side and stick a little bit of that over it, cut a little bit off, slide it over it. Just play the lighter flame underneath it side to side. Don't let it get too hot or it'll cook it and it may come desoldered. And then, of course, simply a matter of uh, other piece of this. Negative leads go in that one. Slide it all together and then uh, heat it up again and you can see you've got a nice electrically tight fitting there it won't uh, cause any trouble and uh, it can be helpful in damp conditions too as it'll stop the moisture getting in there quite as much as it might otherwise do apart from that everything else seems to be in order uh, you can see there when this motor was made it's upside down here but it says uh, 7th of November 79 uh, DC 12 volts the little lamps also ran on about 12 volts. The meter showed just under 13. So, uh, with two of them in the circuit, they're 0.4 watts each, the replacements. And they seem to light up as nicely as the other ones did. So, uh, I think we've cracked that one. As usual, they've used foam up there. Look at that foam, and it's on the gingerbread. So, uh, a little bit of epoxy glue on here and here when they go back and uh, all should be well again strange how you sometimes have to modify things in order to get them to work it's not original I know but uh, I suppose as long as it's out of sight it doesn't really matter too much another thing I've found I've had to do that with is the lid of that uh, N4404 reel to reel now, it was all there, uh, nothing was missing, none of the catches were damaged or what have you, but it was in a pretty battered state, covered in fine spatters of uh, paint and dirt and fine scratches. So, uh, what I've done to this is to uh, spray it a suitably 1970s brown. It's a bit lighter than it was, but uh, it's within keeping. That's the main thing. Uh, don't uh, make it look too startlingly different <laughs> anyway so uh, that's what we're doing here today sorry about the whooshing sound in the background by the way that's the fan it's uh, very very muggy here today and sticky I think we're getting some bad weather tomorrow 
Ah, dear, they were on the radio today about bloody Somalia. <laughs> well, it looks as if that's going to be the next lavatory bowl the government flushes taxpayers' money down, doesn't it? I mean, dear, oh dear, oh dear, when will they learn leave these basket cases alone? Cool, dear, oh dear, you couldn't make it up, could you? See you soon.